All right, a uh, quick video here on run-ons. All right, so run-on, there, there are two types of run-ons. Uh, one is called a comma splice, the other is called a few sentence. All right, so you got run-ons, right? You got comma splice, you got a few sentence. Honestly, probably none of you will ever need to know the difference. You just need to know when to not do them. Like, I'm like no one's ever going to test you on what a few sentences. Or maybe they will, but not my best. So, comma splice is when you improperly use. So, basically, run on is is connecting two part, two full sentences, or two complete clause, two independent clauses, or two complete clauses joined in correctly. Comma splice is when you incorrectly use a comma. So this is when a comma splice happens. Um, you know, I went to the store and I bought a bag of apples, right? So this is, well, this is actually just a few sentences. So let's put it down there. So this is a few sentences. I went to the store and, and this is the most that showed up, honestly, a lot of the one ones that that says have been grading lately. So it's like, I went to the store and I bought a bag of apples. Totally fine, good sense. Pretty much everything's going pretty strongly here, but you've got one complete clause here. I went to the store, right? Because that's a complete sentence, right? If you see, you can see that this is a complete sentence, which makes it an independent clause, independent clause, right? Meaning a clause that doesn't need anything else, any other clauses, any other pieces of uh, writing to support it, right? So this is an independent clause, AKA complete sentence, right? Now, so I went to the store and bought a bag of apples. You can't connect them with just an and, right? You've got your fanboys, right? Which is for and, what is it? Nor, but, or, yet. So these are all called coordinating conjunctions, right? Then you got subordinating um, conjunctions, but let's not do that right now because that's not what we're talking about. So coordinating conjunctions it sounds exactly what it, like what it is, right? It's a conjunction, meaning it's a um, a piece in the middle of two other pieces, right? Um, mayonnaise in between two slices of bread, whatever you want to think of. Um, sauce between cheese and dough on a pizza, right? It's in between. It's conjuncting. It's connecting, right? It's like glue. Now, coordinating means it's coordinating two independent clauses, right? See, anytime you use these, okay? In this way, and like so, and the word and can be a Coordinating conjunction, it can also just be a conjunction. When it's used as a coordinating conjunction, as a fanboy, it is coordinating two independent thoughts and it always needs a comma. So you do always do comma fanboy. The, the way that people get into trouble with this is you don't always need a comma when you have an and, and we'll get into that with the comma splice in one second. So to fix this few cents, you just pop a period. Boom, oh, I'm sorry, pop a comma, right? That's it. Or you can do this, period. I want a star, I bought a bag of apples. Um, probably that actually doesn't really make a lot of sense. You could also semicolon there. These are all grammatically correct, but they don't make a lot of conceptual sense. I think this makes the most sense, right? Yeah. I went to the store, then bought a bag of apples, right? Now this is, so this is still an independent clause, right? But this is now a dependent clause, right? Because it says then bought a bag, of, watch. It's dependent because if I take this off, it doesn't make any sense. Then bought a bag of apples, I'm like, oh, what? That's what I say when I read your stuff. Right. Then bought a bag of apples. Now you want a comma though because it's an introductory phrase. But let's not get into that. Okay. So that's a few sentences. I went to the store. Bought a bag of apples. I'm sorry. You could say if you remove bought a bag of apples. If you remove the subject, this is actually correct. This wouldn't be a few sentences because there's not an extra subject, which makes this a complete sentence. Right. Look. Again, just take it away and bought a bag of apples as a dependent phrase, dependent clause. Boom. Now it's like going to the store and bought a bag of apples. Don't need a comma. You put an I in there. Watch. Here's the difference. And I bought a bag of apples. Watch. Now it's independent. I bought a bag of apples. Makes freaking sense. Pop this in. Now you need a comma. No big deal. All right. Now, comma splice. Uh, let's just use the same phrasing. I went to the store. Okay. I mean, it, and bought apples. Okay. Well, bought a bag. Let's just keep it consistent. Okay. Now this would be a comma splice because you wouldn't 
it wouldn't be correct. Meaning the comma is spliced because it's doing all this freaking work that doesn't that, that doesn't make any sense, right? I went to the store and bought a bag of apples. You want to get rid of that comma so it's correct. Uh, most of y'all do more few sentencing. Um, so pay attention to those few sentences. I went to the store and bought a bag of apples. This would be comma spliced. I and mean, we can do one more so you know, right? The dog, let's say the dog barked and it wagged. Or I'm sorry, the dog barked, comma, and wagged its tail. Okay, now look. You don't want and wagged its tail. Now look, this is a comma splice as well, right? You're like, but it has an and, Mr. Buckley, you fanboys. No, this isn't watch. Okay, because this is and wagged its tail. You're like, who? This is a, this would be a fragment, aka makes it a dependent phrase, dependent clause. So you pop that in there, you don't even need your comma. But just like we were doing the other one, if you put the dog back in there, then you'd need the dog barked and the dog wagged his tail. But I mean, the sentence would suck because it just doesn't sound good, right? The dog barked and the dog wagged his tail. Who talks like that? Who writes like that, right? You don't want to do that, all right? So that's right. That's really um, that's that's basically all you need to know. Just you know, use your fanboys. If you don't want to use fanboys, just pop a semicolon in there. I went to the store, um, semicolon, and I bought a bag of. You almost probably won't want to do it like that. I went to the store, I bought a bag of apples, right? Um, probably not the best fix, like conceptually, but grammatically, it's okay. So when you fix your rounds, you can fix them with a period, you can fix them with a comma fanboy, or you can fix them with a semicolon. Um, I usually just kind of try to fix them with short, sharp sentences, right? Let's, let's see, one more. I went to the store. Yeah, then. Uh, let's see, I went to the store, then. You know, bought a bag of apples. I wanted to start, you know, I wanted to store and bought apples. Let's just keep it like that. Okay. All right, sound good? That's it. That's Ron's in a nutshell.